it's now time for us to do our first actual job uh, in Exapunks. We are going to order ourselves a pizza from Euclid's. Uh, so, we have access to a new network. This is our first actual network we have access to. And the assignment is quite simple this time. We need to uh, add our pizza order to the end of the existing list of orders. So 300 is the file that we are given. This is our pizza order. This is our address, and this is the choice of pizza that we want to order. Not the choice that I'd make, but who who can beggars can't be choosers. It's going to be free anyway. Uh, 200, which is located over here in this host, uh, is the list of their current orders. So we want to add ours on the end there so that they're like, oh yeah, we got this order. We'll, we'll, we'll take it in. Can I help you, Cat? So I've created two execution agents. One of them is going to be the reader. He's going to pick up file 300 and, ex and transcribe what we're ordering. And the other one is going to pick up the list of orders that the Euclid's currently has and will add our... It'll copy over our order into the end of it. So, Agent A is going to link across 800, grab file 200, and it's going to use this command seek 9999. This is a new command. This is used to tell the cursor in the file where in the file we want to be. Uh, seek 9999, the guide says, can reliably be used to go to the end of the file. Similarly, seek negative 9999 will take you to the beginning of the file. So, what a is doing is he's going, grabbing 200, and going to the end of the file. Meanwhile, B is going to pick up file 300, and he's going to start iterating over the values in 300 and writing them to the M register. So B is ready to shoot out the first thing, which is the address. You can see that over XB is the address. A is currently grabbed the file. He's now going to seek to the end of it. And now he's trying to read something from uh, from M. Uh, the address is transferred over, A copies it in. Now, I've got A waiting twice. No op, uh, or noop, whichever you prefer. Uh, he's going to do no instruction for two cycles, because I have two no ops in there. This is to buy XB some time that he can do a test. He's going to test EOF. EOF stands for end of file. Uh, what I want to know is basically, I want to I want to loop over the contents of file 300 until uh, we've reached the end of the file. I'm doing this dynamically. This would work in the event that there's more than five items in file 300. But the, the prompt does tell us that all orders, including yours, will consist of exactly five keywords. So this was a consideration that wasn't required, but just kind of how I mentally defaulted to. So what XB will do is test, am I at the end of the file? Uh, like we've said before, testing will overwrite what's in the T register with the result, zero for false, any one for true. So since we're not at the end of the file, uh, T is going to stay zero, and we are going to F jump back up to the loop. Now, in order for A to know whether we're done or not, they're going to test to see, is there something in the M register to read? And the reason I had exactly two no ops in there was to give B enough time to copy the next value into the M register. He says, medium into the M register. XA actually picked up, okay, there is something there for me to read. I'm going to loop back up because there was something there. And it is then going to transcribe medium into the file. And this process is going to repeat for cheese, extra cheese. Now that I can agree with, it's the anchovies that I have a problem with. Uh, and now B sees, we, we did test EOF and B sees, okay, we are at the end of the file. We are not going to jump. I'm actually going to halt. B is done. A is going to see, okay, there isn't anything else in the M register for me to read. That must mean we're done. I'm not going to loop. I'm just going to halt my execution. And that completes the assignment. We'll repeat this process over and over again. I'm trying to see if the order changes at all. It doesn't, it doesn't look like it does. It looks like the contents of file 200 changes, but the contents of file 300 uh, are pretty consistent. Medium cheese, extra cheese, and anchovies every single time. We'll fast forward that. There you go. We got ourselves a free pizza.